Vitrad AI is a tool which you can use to translate videos, images, podcast, and text to 50 plus languages with just one click using artificial intelligence. Right. So usually, you know, the process of translation in a manual scale is cumbersome and slow. Using Vitra, the speed up is close to 100 times, right? And the whole process is over 80% cost effective than any manual process in the world today. So one of the thing with our own custom models that we had built uh, for all these speech to text uh, you know, engines and pipeline was uh, first of all, you know, the, the data, I mean, there is a lot of effort that goes into, you know, training the model, right? The way you, way you get the data in place and stuff, right? Uh, that itself is very, very cost intensive and it's very time consuming. It used to take like three months, six months cycles for us to get, get a model into and train, right? But, uh, when, when we just did a small POC, like I said, with, with Azure Cognitive Services, the, the accuracy of the punctuations, for example, was be much, much better, like 30% better than what Vitra's own custom models was. And this yielded, you know, the whole ripple effect of AI models, right? Which which yielded us overall of more than 30-40% 30, better accuracies and translation systems and stuff like that eventually, right? So overall, this, this yielded impressive results. Uh, while we explored another you know, speech to text system, the cost was you know reduced by 2.5x, which was a huge, huge you know infrastructural overhead was you know broadened down for us, and it was just a seamless, simple API integration, which hardly took like 30 minutes for us to integrate with you know Azure services. So, so that was the biggest benefit, and we didn't have to break our heads as to how to scale our infra and cloud. The servers, basically GPU and CPU servers, uh, where you know because it's an API. Uh, during the initial days, uh, some of these uh, speech to text, especially that system, um, we we had a certain you know customer segments that we were working with, right? So they needed custom training, you know, for their own kind of data set. That's when we jumped on to building our own AI system, right? Our own AI models. But then we realized um, eventually that, you know, we had, to, I mean, we couldn't manage these models. It was huge. And, you know, the as I said, the operational complexity, the infrastructure complexity was just scaling up. And, you know, as the company scaled, I mean, when, when you start off as a startup, right, you want to do everything, right? But only then you realize that offloading a lot of these, a uh, lot of the things that you don't want to do at scale would actually yield better results. That's what we felt. And that's when we you know, evaluated like a dozen of speech-to-text systems and Microsoft's, uh, no, Azure's uh, speech-to-text felt very, very effective and efficient when it comes to the output that it gave, the output that it generated, and the speed, and you know the overall cost. So it was not just one factor that helped us make this decision. And th this decision was you know reviewed by hundreds of people inside the company and contractors, right? Hundreds of people reviewed, and it was a blind uh, you know decision. I mean, it was a blind data, right? Like a, a black box. You could just see the data sets and. You could choose which was the best performing one. And that's how we derived at you know, Azure, which I think almost got over 80% of the votes in the, in the whole uh, you know, analysis that we made over 30 days. So that was impressive. When it comes to managing infra, the biggest uh, problem was um, how to cater to scale, right? The, the peaks basically, right? So suddenly, you know, you had a customer who wanted to use you know, like hundreds of hours over a period of, let's say, three hours time. They wanted the output and you have to kind of, you know, break your head and figure out how to scale for that period of time. Though there is auto scalability, all of that, but the cost is still much, much higher.
right and unlike a simple uh, simpler infra which is cpu driven and you have a load balancer in front when you have a combination of infra right so we had a lot of stuff on cpu a whole bunch of stuff on gpu and you know all the data being managed across the place right so this became combined again it was multi cloud in the first place right so where would you place the load balancer, right? So that was the problem. Uh, and that's when we figured out um, managing it this way is impossible. And obviously, we initially brought everything to Azure and again tried with the load balancer approach. I mean, the whole point is uh, uh, Azure-based load balancer wouldn't help because always the GPUs and the CPUs will be getting 100% utilization. Right, because it's, it's always full. So there's no point in load balancing such systems. So that's when we realize, you know, let's let's figure out how the world works today, right? And that eventually led to uh, you know, these decisions. But yes, cost wise, yes, cost was a cost was a factor, right? No doubt uh, when we were evaluating because uh, this helped us improve our own gross margins. Yeah, you know, significantly in in the product, right? Which we eventually could even pass on to the customers, and in a certain way. With with a set of customer group, right? We did a A/B testing without informing them, you know, what we are doing internally, right? Obviously, and then um, we passed on uh, my Azure Cognitive Services model to a certain set of enterprises, and the others used our custom models, right? The way it was, and we figured out that uh, the the set of customers who were using Azure Cognitive Services, the speech to text engine, um, had three to four much better improvements. The amount of time it took for the process to complete, let's say a video translation process to complete, was much, much better, right? I mean, I think it was 50% faster than the previous uh, Vitra's speech to text engine. And the second part was the overall accuracy when it comes to the translation was significant, right? Like, as I said earlier, the punctuation was much better, which gave us 30% better contextual accuracies when it comes to translation. So overall, it was both the punctuations and the translations that led to impressive results. And at the end of like 15 days, 30 days kind of a trial, we, we kind of went back and asked, you know, like we've observed that your overall experience has improved, right? The way you use the product for the videos and stuff. And they, they kind of agreed, yes, you know, they, they wanted to know if there was an update, all right? So to the product. And we, we got, you know, we passed out surveys, tried to figure out what was better. And, you know, we helped them figure out that this was the same thing that you did earlier and this is how it was improved. And um, overall customer satisfaction score itself improved by over 23% over a period of three months um, of analysis that we did after switching to uh, Azure speech to text, which is huge, which is huge for us, right? Um, that's, so that, that's how things transformed. And now I think we overall have a much, much better product. Um, and obviously, uh, thanks to Azure uh, and the whole infrastructure plus the cognitive services and the applied AI infra and this this is very helpful and we're also planning to use the the custom training of uh, Azure cognitive services where we are able to put in uh, put out a lot of our own uh, training data and stuff and train on top of Azure's uh, infra as well the existing cognitive models as well. explore the services that exist today because if you're starting from scratch if you're starting from zero and if someone is already there right obviously they are in a much better place right and obviously using pre-existing services right and even if you want to train on custom data you know all the amazing stuff that startups want to do all the time right but you know fixate yourself on something that's an existing solution because that would be robust and it would help you, to, you know, your go to market, right? Would be very, very fast. I mean, it took a year, year and a half for us to build this whole infra using, as I said, it, it took like half an hour to integrate 
speech to text of a jar right and as i said after all of this process of year and a half worth of analysis experimentation etc we felt azure is the best solution right so what i would suggest is um whatever you want to do right start with a certain set of services that already exist and explore i mean azure is a place of incredible innovation and every every month i see newer updates coming out uh, you know in the ai blog and it's incredible right and um, unlike a lot of other ai systems and uh, uh, companies azure is like an end to end ecosystem right it's not just cloud it's not just ai it's an ecosystem you can build anything with with a set of services that we have right so even if you want to build something custom the beauty of azure is they allow you to bring your own data and train on top of you know the azure's existing models called custom models so it just has everything so you just have to start right as a startup you just have to start start fast go to market fast and i think azure is uh, impressive uh, in in the way it uh, it is for developers for startups the whole ecosystem uh, is impressive uh, and we've seen a huge value add and our own developers are happier than before it's not just customer satisfaction it's even developer satisfaction <laughs> Bitra, like I said, today already translates uh, you know the top four or five content formats in the world. Uh, going forward, Bitra, the the vision of Bitra is to translate literally any type of content. Right? We want to translate virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed realities, and all of this happening with just one click. Right? So that's that's our you know. Uh, you know that's how we portray what vitra is translate videos images ar vr etc with just one click so that's that's what is the plan going forward